Hello everyone and welcome to CE101 and today's topic is Deflection of Beams Using Double Integration Method or DIM So sa topic na ito, matututunan nyo is yung pag-solve ng Double Integration Method na merong Concentrated Load, UDL or UVL So sa, sa video na ito, ma-discover nyo muna is yung Concentrated Load So next videos pa yung UDL at UVL So to, to proceed, meron tayong example dito So Solve for deflection at mid span. So, meron tayong simply supported beam na merong 10 meters span. Tapos, sa gitna, meron tayong 20 kN concentrated load. So, deflection at mid span. Ano ba yung mid span? So, 10 meters span. Tapos, ang mid span ng 10 meters is yung 5 meters, yung gitna. So, sa gitna, meron din nakalocate na 20 kN concentrated load. So, ang pinapahanap din dito is yung maximum deflection. So, first step para makuha yung deflection at mid span using double integration method is to find the reaction sa supports. So, unang step natin, paano makahanap ng reactions? So, magmoment lang tayo sa either support. So, ang ginawa ko dito is nagmoment ako sa B. So, moment at B is equal to 0 with respect as counterclockwise positive, negative AY times 10, negative kasi pa-clockwise siya, times 10 kasi full span from B, plus 20 times 5. So, 20 yung concentrated load natin, pa-counterclockwise times 5 yung distance from B is equal to 0. So, AY is equal to 10 kN pataas. So, tama yung assume natin pataas. So, next is summation of forces along y is equal to 0. So, yung una natin lalagay is yung 10 kN pataas na nakuha natin kanina. Minus 20 yung concentrated load plus by, assume natin pataas, is equal to 0. So, by is equal to 10 kN pataas din. So, tama rin natin yung assume natin dyan. So, ito, pinto. So, meron tayong dalawang reactions sa pin isang y at saka isang x so yung susob naman natin ngayon is yung sa x so paano natin masusob yung x meron pa tayong equilibrium equation na summation of forces along x is equal to 0 so makahanap natin yung ax is equal to 0 rin kasi wala namang kumukontrang forces sa x natin so next step is ikakat na natin yung beam arbitrarily sa portion na ito so pagkakat natin ng beam magmumoment tayo sa kinat natin na portion. So, pagka moment natin, magmo-moment tayo, moment at C, yung tawag na natin dyan, is equal to 0, counterclockwise as positive. So, yung negative 10 na nakuha natin kanina, times x, negative kasi pa-clockwise ulit sya. Times yung x as yung full span nya, arbitrarily is x. Plus 20, x minus 5. Yung 20 na yan, yung concentrated load, times x minus 5. Bakit naging x minus 5? Kasi full span niya is x, tapos meron tayong 5 dito. Kaya may naging x minus 5 yung portion na ito. Plus mc, yung moment natin, is equal to 0. So, arrange lang natin yan, may naging mc is equal to 10x minus 20, x minus 5. So, magsisimula na yung double integration method natin. So, yung MC is equal to EIY double prime. So, sa double integration method, yung EIY double prime, ayan yung tinatawag nating moment equation. So, same lang siya sa MC. Rewrite lang natin ng EIY double prime. So, pagka rewrite natin, EIY double prime is equal to 10X minus 20X minus 5. Same lang siya dun sa MC. So, pag start natin ang double integration method, mag integrate na tayo from this equation. So, EIY double prime may iging EIY prime is equal to 10x squared over 2 minus 20x minus 5 squared over 2 plus C1. So, magkakaroon tayo ng constant kasi nag-integrate na tayo. So, etong equation na to, tinatawag na natin equation yan is yung slope equation. Pag inayos lang natin, EIY prime is equal to 5x squared minus 10, x minus 5 squared plus c1. So, ayan na yung slope equation natin. Ang pinapahanap dito sa problem is yung deflection at midspan. So, itong equation na ito, hindi pa to yung equation na hinahanap natin. Kailangan pa natin mag-integrate ulit para mahanap na natin yung deflection equation. So, pagka-integrate ulit natin, yung EIY prime may iging EIY. So, yung EIY natin, pag-integrate, is equal to 
5x cubed over 3 minus 10x minus 5 cubed over 3 plus c1x plus c2. Magkakaroon ulit ng constant kasi nag-integrate ulit tayo. So, itong equation na to, ayan na yung deflection equation natin. Pero, hindi pa to yung full deflection equation natin kasi meron pa tayong c1 and c2. So, paano natin mahanap yung c1 at c2? Meron tayong tinatawag na boundaries. So, ano yung batayan para magka para mahanap natin yung boundaries. So, ang boundaries natin, yan yung sa supports. So, sa unang boundary natin, meron tayong support sa pinaka left side. So, saan ba nakalocate yung left yung pinaka left nating support? So, yung pinaka left nating support nasa 0 na x. So, ang lalagay nating x is equal to 0. So, ano ba ang deflection natin sa support? Diba is 0 Kaya y is, is equal to 0 So pag 0 yung y 0 din yung mga x Mayiging c2 is equal to 0 So next boundary natin Is yung sa support natin Sa pinaka right side So ang x natin sa pinaka right side Is yung full span na 10 meters So 10 meters yung x Tapos yung y natin is 0 Let kasi sa support 0 yung deflection So ei times 0 Pag sinabsitute na natin, i i times 0 is equal to 5 times 10 cube over 3 minus 10 times 10 minus 5 cube over 3 plus c1 times 10 plus 0. So, pag sinalb natin yung c1, makukuha natin c1 is equal to negative 125 kN m squared. So, next step is yung pag, pag substitute na natin ng c1 at c2 sa deflection equation. So, C1 at C2, pagka-substitute natin, makukuha na natin yung fully deflection equation na. So, EIY is equal to 5x cube over 3 minus 10x minus 5 cube over 3 minus 125x. So, ito na yung deflection equation natin para makuha na natin yung deflection at mid span. So, next step is hanapin na natin yung deflection at mid span. So, ano ba yung mid span ulit? Ayan yung 5 meters na nasa gitna ng full span so pag isasubstitute natin yung x natin yung mid span natin is 5 so ang isasubstitute natin sa x is yung 5 meters so solving for deflection at mid span magkakaroon tayo ng EIY is equal to 5 times 5 raised to 3 over 3 minus 10 times 5 minus 5 oh, raised to 3 over 3 may higing 0 na yan minus 125 times 5 so, makukuha natin sagot dito is EIY is equal to negative 1250 over 3 kilonewton times n cube. So, negative siya kasi pa-downward yung deflection natin. So, pag inayos lang natin to to deflection, mayiging EIY is equal to negative EIS. So, EI, double, EI deflection at midspan is equal to 1250 over 3 kilonewton times n cube. So, ito na yung pinakasagot natin sa deflection at midspan.